please allow me to show you something hello welcome back to this journey well if you're new welcome to this journey well how are you guys i hope you're good i just came on here really quickly just to see i'll be reviewing <laughs> like you can tell by the title but yeah <laughs> just to say that i'll be unboxing and doing a first use of an e-file or a nail drill that i purchased from amazon from melody suzy and if you're interested it's linked below so i did some press-ons not the press-ons that i currently have on actually i lied it is the press-ons that i currently have on but i just put another color over it so <laughs> yeah so i've basically had one of these press ones for two weeks also from the time of me posting this i currently have just over 100 subscribers and guys thank you so much for subscribing um like any content if it is you liked it yay um so yeah if you like my glasses i have a video talking about purchasing prescription glasses online and like my plan was because i never did an introduction for my channel so my plan was when i have 100 subscribers i would do a official introduction although i had to do it anyway but it would just you know i didn't know it would be so fast so i have to do an introduction so you know basically what my channel is about but anyway who cares today we are unboxing and reviewing the e-file so if you're interested continue watching and if you like what you see and you want to purchase the link is below in the description box enjoy yeah so here's the box melody suzy bring your beauty salon home yeah let's see what's in the box boom what did you expect the drill of course so we got some sanding bands, which is basically like a file, yeah, like you want it's a file you buy. So the drill, cute. Um, the adapter, it's not battery powered, it's powered by an adapter, <laughs> electricity. And then you have the bits that you got and then you have some other sanding bands which is graded it has whatever grades which is not labeled but yeah whatever right so basically the products the adapter drill and the bits right the power control the switch I really didn't know what, <laughs> what it would what it was for at the time well what was for what clearly it's the controller anyway also in the box usual marketing shit nets 20% off any other bits you may want to purchase for the drill mm. cool and then A business card I guess and then you have the user manual which has user stuff <laughs> so how to use it the different bits what they are used for I was actually kind of just reading for myself honestly right um, how to use it and some other important things Mm, I don't know why I'm showing you all this for so long, but yeah other pages That's nice. Okay. All right. I was looking at the controls on what that was for um, Yeah, yeah, that's nice People stuff. Yeah, thanks um, Bye 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 okay, Yeah. All right, so now we have the bits um, and I mentioned I'm gonna do like a quick press on it's not a tutorial but I'll just talk you all through what I did so this is the cone bit that I'm putting on to um, remove some of the cuticle buildup I have on my nails and the controls the switch it's to you can do clockwise or anti-clockwise to rotate it and the wheel is to control the speed and i put it on the lowest speed because this is the first time i was using this so 
yeah butter start and sure and I'm good girls and guys there was a lot of build up as you can see so yeah right um these are some of the nails that I have because I do press on nails at home so I have bought a good bit so I have these what is this the um, ballet <laughs> the ballet nail shape um, in like the white color and I organize it by size and then I have some clear nails also in the ballerina shape that's the shape I kind of like and then I have some medium length stilettos and I was feeling to be kind of basic I really didn't want long nails so those are the nails I chose um, and just ensuring and sorting the nails for you know the fingers and usually like my index and ring finger are the same sizes so cutting the nails especially because the nails are clear and also because on the underneath you can see your nails if it's longer than your nail bed if that's what you want to call it so yeah whatever cutting the nails so it look good and then um what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use one of these sanding bits and I'm going to add some texture to my nails so that the glue adheres a bit better and it lasts a, a bit longer. And this process, I would usually use a nail file, like a 180 grit nail file and do it. So this is part of the, what helped speed up my um, process because doing this manually well I'm doing this manually too but doing it with the nail file takes kind of longer this was done a lot a lot faster with the e-file yeah and usually you <laughs> like you would use some alcohol pads to remove this but i'm telling you this was like a real quick job so yeah i didn't get any glue and what i do i put some glue on my nail bed just a little and then i also put some on the nail tip itself um well the full cover nail and i pressed it on and I pressed it for at least like five seconds make sure any air bubbles you know escape and yeah I don't know if I mentioned but when you do in press on you want to make sure that it's full cover nails and not the tips that you would usually use like if you do in acrylics or something like that so whenever you're buying nails to do press on ensure that it's full cover yeah so and I know sometimes people polish their nails before they put it on, but you know, but I got time for that. ambidextrous so I can do things you know with my left hand for myself like put on nails <laughs> nail polish you know you know oh and I did mention the nails I put links to the nails that I purchased below in the description box if you're interested you know if you want to purchase your own nails on Amazon like yeah so yeah time to put on some polish so 
oh no not polish as yet um what i'm also doing now is when you put on um tips or whatever the top of it is still kind of rough so what i'm doing i put on the um large barrel and that was just to sand just the tip to remove some of the excess things so it wouldn't be too sharp and scrape me because i scrape myself very easily right so just decided on a color it was even between like some nudes and some kind of wine color so comment below which color you think i chose yeah i went with that one anyway so yeah that's the top cover which i don't think i ever put on but let's not get into that <laughs> anyway so yeah i'm just i'm putting on some polish Hmm. Right, and I also ensure to get the tip. I don't know how to describe it. The tip of the nail, so it looks like a full cover. I don't know how to explain what I'm saying, but that's what I do. I guess you could see it. Can you? And I went ahead and did my left hand off camera because did you want to see another one minute of this? I don't think so. So yeah, both hands done did. Uh, on the left hand, I did two coats. On my right hand, I only did one. Why? Laziness. Just laziness. No real reason. So yeah. Yay. Thanks for watching.